Riding down a blurry road, but down on, down on, imagination drives a boom. Drive forever, get nowhere, get nowhere, the end is near, Afghan Highway, the only road you drive sideways. There you go. He got that. Wife yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a fucking bow job in too. <laughs> I got brunette beauties. All right. With uh, Jenna. I don't know who Jenna is, but I'm sure she's one of the Right, Jenna Jameson. She's down to one name, though, so she's pretty popular. And then I got my living doll. So, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. And then Dick Dick Goose with a very, very angry, sexy looking woman on the front. The only road you drive sideways. All right, so day 53, Bandar Triangle, <laughs> going on patrol, taking pictures. Oh, here, Bandar, the uh, the edge of the plateau, taking pictures of some of the gates. So we're taking pictures. Coming up. The edge plateau, the gates. Then this afternoon, this afternoon we might invade Pakistan. I don't know. We'll see what happens. My tech light. Has anybody seen my tech light? It's a mountain I can't pass, but I can see the other side. It's the rest of my life, Afghan Highway. The only road you drive sideways. Only if you get our green listing options, man. Hey, you got a soldier over here. He looks not highly motivated. We're gonna go talk to him about re-enlisting. So you like the United States Army? What's it gonna take for you to re-enlist? Free enlistment. Huh? What's it gonna take for you to re-enlist? Do away with the don't ask, don't tell clause? <laughs> I don't know if we can do that, man. I don't know what's going on. Tarjuman's up there. Right. I don't want him in my picture. Two. Okay, One, he could be in two, my picture. Three. You just don't want to kill me, pal. I said okay, you could be in my picture. Oh, he was in. What's going on up there? You were like, locked. Day 52, hour 20, patrol keeps going. The fob's right there. Get to the chopper! No! <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't had a bird out here in like seven days. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know, but it's motherfucking high speed. <laughs> I wanna, so I'm in the market for some property here in Afghanistan. You, uh, you got anything like, like lakeside here, around here? I'm looking for some good fishing and such. I've seen a lake before. There's a lake down south, outside by the... Uh, like 25 clicks outside Cantor. We went to go swimming at one time. Oh, fuck! <laughs> we, went, we went to go swimming at one time and we were all happy. It was hot out. Yeah! We stripped down. We ran up to it like we were going to jump into it. There's going to be a gigantic lake. And the, the deepest part of the lake was about right here. How are you? Good. So it just, just rained for the first time. About probably six months. Just once. British fort. Back when the British were here a long, long time ago. We got a prison on that bank side. Huh. Kind of, kind of ran out. They came through here. 
You seen that uh, old British prison, sir? Huh? Here's where their irrigation problems lie. There used to be a thriving farm garden back over that hill right there. This uh, a little bit dry. Just be careful, y'all don't step yeah. in. But we we told we, we decided, you know, as Americans that people should live in mud huts, wipe their ass with their own hands, and drive Hiluxes. Because that's, that's the hut. You think we're going to bring America's three Bs down to Afghanistan? Burgers, bitches, and beer? Ain't going to happen. Human feces. That's, uh, that's definitely ramen noodles. So we brought them back to traditional Afghanistan. They had toilets. This actually, there was uh, 17 McDonald's in this valley. And, uh, knocked them all down. No more McDonald's. It's like a game show called Name That Shit. Ramen noodles. Gutter tower, farm right behind there, used to be anyways. I'm not a, I'm not a historian, but I know a lot about Afghanistan. It's been about 20, 21 months in here, this country. I'm pretty sure that's the, that's the Tigris, the Tigris River right there. And on the back side, you'll see the other, the other smaller one is the Euphrates. I'm pretty sure about that, the Tigris and Euphrates. It used to be a carnival up here. And uh, they got destroyed. The Taliban didn't like carnivals. It made people happy. But they didn't like it because it, it made you vomit. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not a historian again. But I think vomiting is against the, the Muslim religion. So but this, uh, this right here used to be one of the spider, one of those spider uh, pieces of machinery where you jump on the seat, it swings you around. Yeah, that's what this used to be. But the Taliban. Didn't like vomiting, so no more. I got voted mayor of this plateau. This whole plateau. Yeah, I, I don't know if the Afghans knew they were voting for me. I don't think they know they were voting. But like the reception I get, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. The reception I get is I'm gonna be, if I could uh, rate how great of a king I am to these people. I'd say like Nefertiti level, you know, somewhere around there. You know, like Margaret Thatcher or some shit. That's what I'd say. Well, watch out for the quicksand. Afghan's known for his quicksand. I don't like to brag, but I'm a combat vet. Stuff like that, you gotta look out for. So a piece of metal, yeah, you might trip on it. Take pictures here, take mm -hmm. pictures over there, take Same pictures thing. on that side. We got a fucking syringe here. What's going on? Oh shit! Yeah, you know what this boy. means? There's definitely been here people here before. Yeah. <laughs> the back side of this hill, there's a a prison, a British prison. I think the Bush administration wants to make it a, a torture, a torture room, torture cells. I don't know. I don't know if they got approval yet. Go on, man. Yeah, camarada. Yeah. Historian Humphreys, back with another lesson for you. No shit. You're not gonna leave me on this one. I would say I'd make a lot of stuff up. Alexander the Great's shield. And that says it's a bloodstain still. I don't want to touch it. That's Alexander the Great's bloodstains. Yeah. I don't know their hands. Probably the enemy, because he's a bad motherfucker. Bazaar? Bazaar? Yeah. So what are you selling? You got for sale? You got some of them Reebok pumps for sale? Prison behind you? Inside the prison, sir. What? That means you have to walk down there. Uh... We'll hold off on that one. <clears throat> this is the one you guy's getting high on the back side of the building. I didn't think anybody right, noticed. Now he's trying to walk away. Look at him. Go tackle him, Kasha. Came out here for some reefer token. It's gonna be his worst day ever. <laughs> hey, hey, come here. What are you doing? <laughs> no, no, don't play that happy game with me. What you been up to? 
Token reefer. Huh? Hey, you got the reef? Dunja. No Dunja. Dunja. Hey, Ashish. Ashish? Yeah, you have. No, you have. Ashish? Ashish. Yeah, Ashish. I'm going to have to deal with that later in my life. That's what we do. As OG is this tower two, we have the Mongolian horde approaching rapidly. What do you want me to do about that? Over. Getting away, the end is near. Very nice.